Hi, welcome to my video on the Smart Tree F3 waterproof floating carbon fiber hand grip. Now I got bought this hand grip off Amazon for $22.99. Comes in this box which is grey and blue. A nice box from Smart Tree and on the front we have a lined picture of a GoPro which is on a coloured picture of the hand grip itself. Back of the box it says Smart Pole F3 Floating Ultra Light Carbon Fiber Monopole for GoPro and Osmo Action. Now you can put any um, action camera on this as long as you require the buckle mount but I'll come to that later on. Further on the box it shows a line diagram of it floating, ultra light and strong carbon fiber tube with a quarter inch screw thread. This is from Smart Tree and this is the third generation. I have done a review on the first generation as well so I'll look out for that review. Now this is how the pole looks when you take it out the box. It has this nice grey look, carbon fibre um, look to it with a blue accent at the bottom and the mounting system at the top. I'll start at the top. As you can see we have the GoPro style mounting system for the buckle mount. So you need a buckle mount to mount the camera on to the fingers to mount it onto the pole which you do not get in the box. The body of the grip has the word Smart Tree written on it and the new Smart Tree logo. At the bottom of the grip itself has this blue accent bottom with a quarter inch screw thread and also a loop where the wrist lanyard is attached to. Have the corded wrist lanyard which has the words Smart Tree written in blue, stitched in to this corded wrist lanyard, which is stitched in all the way around the wrist lanyard, also with this adjustment on there, so you can adjust it to your wrist. The weight of the hand grip itself, with the strap on there, stroke lanyard, and without a camera on there, weighs 100 grams. And the total length of the actual grip itself, excluding the lanyard, is about 9.2 inches. Now the diameter of this hand grip is a little over 1 inch, which most people will find this will be very comfortable. It's not too thick and it's not too thin, so this can be able to be held in your hand for a good period of time. Now, as I stated before, Smart Tree does not provide you with the actual buckle mount which clips in at the top of this floaty hand grip. And they are two sets of mounts that you can able to obtain either on Amazon or eBay. One mount is the, as you can see, is the ball mount. If you place this on top with your camera, you can able to twist the camera into any direction that you want it to go without twisting the whole entire grip so that's the ball mount the other mount is the standard GoPro buckle mount which means that you can you can't twist the camera in any direction with this the camera is fixed in either looking forward or behind depending on the orientation you place the camera in when you screw in with the thumb screw. Here is my overall opinion, stroke conclusion about the Smart Tree F3 waterproof floaty hand grip. If you're looking for an ultra lightweight carbon fiber hand grip, I'd say go for this one. It is much better, much better improvement than the F1. There is a couple of downsides to this uh, floaty hand grip. One has to be that it doesn't come with any buckle mounts 
whatsoever so you have to provide your own buckle mount to go at the top of this hand grip and the other I would say is the bottom and um, because they only give you this thin blue cap at the bottom that could have been a bit thicker like the GoPros because as I stated before in other videos that when you drop your camera into any body of water the pole floats upside down so it's the color that you see at the end of the actual floaty hand grip is the color that you see bobbing up and down so they could have provided a much wider band at the bottom um, of the actual hand grip now good points about this hand grip is one it's carbon fiber so it is ultra light and really strong which beats in my opinion the GoPro handler which is generally made out of plastic and foam so this beats it um, hands down there is another drawback that it hasn't got the grippiness as the GoPro handler because it's made out of pure carbon fiber but because you get a nice thick corded lanyard I think which is a wrist strap lanyard I think that somewhat to me in my opinion puts it a bit more forward than the GoPro handler next has to be the price it is a lot cheaper than the GoPro handler considering that it is a, it is a carbon fiber um, hand grip and also I love how they provide you with a quarter inch screw thread at the bottom of this hand grip so you can able to place tripod legs on there tabletop tripod legs if you want or even connect it to a tripod in my opinion is a lot better than the F1 it is more thicker than the F1 and at least you can able to use a buckle mount so if, if the mount where the GoPro fingers on the buckle mount is damaged you simply swap out buckle mounts and replace it with another one if you've got more than one particular GoPro camera or different cameras different types of action cameras at least you can swap them out much easier if they're all attached to a buckle mount it's just a simple press and release so you can swap out different different cameras quite quick thanks for watching the video if you like it give it a thumbs up if you don't like it give it a thumbs down but i like to go into detail on the item or the product so when you get it you know what to expect please subscribe to my channel if you like the channel i'll be grateful for that and i'll see you next time